I'm in London's Leicester Square to meet the cast of Miss Nightingale. Now, full disclosure, I actually went to university with Matthew Buzz, the writer and composer. I have seen it before. It's a completely unique play, really sensitive issues and storylines uh, with a lot of humour. You will laugh out loud. I haven't seen it, though, at the West End. First of all, congratulations, you've brought Miss Nightingale to the West End. How does that feel? It's been quite incredible, actually. It's been a seven-year journey since we first started producing the show, but it's been a decade since we started writing it. And I just think there's something really fabulous about bringing in a piece of totally new writing that's uh, not based on a film, not based on a book, and totally original um, to, to the West End. How was that for you? Was it's it been, really hard? It's been an incredibly emotional journey. I think the thing about this show is, um, is that it's, it comes from the heart. It's a story that's all about identity. It's all about learning to live your life with integrity. And, and it's a very personal story, even though it's not my story in any way. It's not biographical. It's, it's a story that deals with all the issues that I feel I have dealt with in my life. One of the things that I was really striving to do with the show is, is to create really well-rounded characters. One of the struggles that we had 10 years ago was that um, they were told by lots of producers, lots of venues, that nobody wanted to see a show where a female lead didn't end up happily with her man. And uh, frankly, I find, I find that really upsetting that we still can't accept stories where actually a woman doesn't have to have a man to be happy. My view is that the best way to really change people's opinions and change people's lives is to do it through making them laugh. And I think it's really important to use humour as a tool to change people's perceptions of what society could be like. It's really unique in that all the characters also play an instrument. I think there's something really thrilling for audiences to see people, highly skilled performers, being on stage and being so close to them. Because the big difference is nowadays, you know, on, 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 with video content and on films, actually you can pretty much do anything on film. But actually, it's made it even harder for audiences to be, really connect with a highly skilled performer in a totally intimate setting of a live performance. We've got a, a company of six performers, but we're actually playing 26 instruments between us. And it's so exciting for an audience to kind of just be part of that. Finally, how does it feel when everyone's on stage every night and the audience are clapping and, and they say how much they've enjoyed it? How does that feel for you personally? And it's a very odd thing that happens on the first night, each night, each time I've done it. And I've looked around and gone, oh, they're all here because of what we've done. And it's this very bizarre thing where it's almost like an out-of-body experience where you don't quite believe that all the work has led to this point where suddenly there's several hundred people all looking at what you've put in front of them. Um, and it's both the most exposing thing you could possibly do, and it's terrifying, but it's also gloriously exciting. Well, Matt Bug, you have done it, and they are here to see you. Congratulations. Thank you very much.